The Cape Mountain zebra is no longer threatened with extinction and has been now downlisted at the 17th Convention of International Trade in Endangered Species in Johannesburg. Conservation efforts have seen their numbers increase, but a decision was also taken last night to upgrade the status of a pangolin as it faces ever-increasing uh, human threats. A century ago, a mere 80 Cape Mountain zebra were left in the world. On the brink of extinction, the animal seemed destined to live only in journals and memory. But through concerted efforts over the past 20 years, the numbers have grown to over 5,000. To this end, the Minister of Environmental Affairs, Edna Molewa, has told COP17 the endemic South African animal is no longer considered on the brink of extinction. It has been moved from Appendix 1 to Appendix 2, which still makes it vulnerable, but restricted trade is possible. The extraordinary feat is a feather in the cap for local conservation efforts, but careful management is still needed. If you consider on a global scale, 5,000 is not really a lot of animals. And if you then look further at the fact that they're in a lot of separated populations, ranging from 10 animals you know, up to just over a thousand in a single population, it doesn't really say that they are all secure. So if they're not genetically resilient, they might not sustain in the long term. But the good news does not extend to the mysterious pangolin. A special assignment investigation has revealed just how serious the threat to these animals are. Considered a delicacy in Asia and the scales used in alleged cures for various health conditions, it's estimated 100,000 pangolins are smuggled from Africa each year. On the South African market, the pangolin is mainly used in traditional healing. Of the eight pangolin species worldwide, the four in Asia are already classified as critically endangered. The four African species are rated as vulnerable, but all varieties are listed on the International Union for the conservation of nature's red list of animals as threatened with extinction. Lobbying furiously, conservationists say the situation has reached crisis point. We're trying to save an animal that nobody knows about. And so the avalanche that we talked about with the ivory and the rhino horn that you'll see coming, I'm scared that it'll hit the South African conservation fraternity like a tsunami. The CITES conference has heeded the call and the pangolin has been uplisted to Appendix 1, which makes it critically endangered and facing extinction with a total ban on all trade. Mariska Boerta, SABC News, Cape Town.